Yeah. All right. So we'll drop your school back here. Go take a seat, baby. <laughs> Breakfast is ready. What is this? It's it's breakfast. Breakfast. How, How dare you? How dare you speak to me like that? Like I don't know it's breakfast? Why are you serving me oats like I'm a kid? Hmm? I thought you loved oats. Will you shut up? Daddy, please! I don't get it. The reason I took a night shift is to get an extra pay. Do you think I like working when others are asleep? I... I don't understand. What is going on? What is going on is that you've refused to man up and provide for this family. I walk in here every morning and I see you painting. Is it painting that would fit this family? Babe, we have been through this several When I get a buyer... When you this... get a buyer. When you get a buyer. When you get a buyer. I've heard that for over a year now. When are you going to get this buyer? Moby, please, behave like a normal human being and go find a job to do. Zama, can you just stop? Can you stop? This, my painting, bought this house. This painting sustained us for years. You met me a painter. You met me a painter. Zama, please, I just need for you oh, to stop. Olga, I get him before Nobi property. Go and get a job. Find you a decent job to do. Get my food to the room and better clean up. I don't want my visitor to see you like that. Yes. He has gone to work. Okay. Trust me, mm -hmm. when I am done with him, mm -hmm. he will go out and get himself a job. Keep this for yourself, please. That's my girl. Mm -hmm. I trust you. I mean, I know what you can do. See, if you're on the right path. Because if you do not show this hopeless idiot that you have as a husband, that you're in charge, hey, man will turn you into a slave. You become a slave in your own house. So you're on the right path. I mean, we have to show these guys that we are the giants. I am telling you. I, I, I get. <laughs> like in my house, my so-called husband, oh, he dares not eat and leave his plate on the dining. How? In whose house? <laughs> Cannot try that now. There's no way. Anything I want to do in my house is because I want to do it. Not because he's saying, and eh, because he's going to do it. How? They never born up. So you're on the right path. 
I mean, we need to show them that we are not ordinary women now. My dear, and we are not ordinary women at I all. Said you need to loud it for them to hear it though. Loud it! <laughs> How can I allow you to be the man of the house when you're not performing your manly duties? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, seriously, you can't only bring Shishi again. Shishi, Shishi, one Kubo. I am the one doing everything in the house. How you see? Every single thing. Men are hopeless. Hold on. Hello? Oh, okay, you're here. Alright, I'm coming. I'm coming now, my friend. I'm coming, hold on. I have to run. I need to go and give this guy something for me. Mm. Mm. All right, let me see you again. Okay. Yeah. it becomes I don't know why Gabe chooses to treat me the way he does every time I have been dutiful perfect Angela <laughs> Angela calm down calm down okay I don't know what else to do. Everything I do is wrong. Nothing I do is right. I, I'm confused. Listen, Angela. I'm not even going to sit here and pretend like I have an answer to what you're going through right now. But I can talk to him if you want me. No, no, please. He mustn't know that I, I speak with you. In fact, he mustn't even know that you, you visit often. How? What are you talking about? He warned me against keeping friends. He says it's bad influence. And you believed that? <laughs> He's my husband. And I am your friend too, Angela. I have been your friend for over 25 years. And a man you just got married to seven years ago wants you to severe all your relationships to serve his ego. Who does that, Angela? You need to wake up. Wake up. You need to see that this marriage is toxic. It is. I just want this marriage to work. I, I just want this marriage oh, to on. work. It's okay. Stop. <laughs> Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop. Stop. Everything is going to be fine. It's your work. We'll see how we can work something out, okay? Stop. Stop crying. Stop. Stop. So, you see? You see the difference, right? Just ask the graphics guy to use these colors. Yeah, she should make it appear in red and white. You see? See how it looks? Yeah. That way, during the campaign, it will attract lots more attention. Okay. Yeah, it's done. Okay, so that's all for today. <sighs> Home is calling. My wife and kids will be dying to see me right now, and I can't wait to meet them. What's that look for? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, nothing. It's just I have um, <laughs> more very um, important engagements to attend to. All right, Gozi. I will see you later. Okay. You have a good evening. <laughs>
give me a chance. A chance to find myself back to your heart. I want to do whatever it would take. so hard to provide for this family. And if that's the only thing good I do in your sight, then so be it. Even for a minute I want to know what it means to laugh. Even for a minute I want to know what it means to have joy in my heart. It's not how it was meant to be If this is love, then is there no real? Why is my love so dark? Dark, dark, dark Why is my love so dark? Dark, dark, dark Why is my love so dark? For a minute I want to know what it means to laugh Even for a minute I want to know what it means to have joy in my heart This is not how it was meant to be If this is love then is there no real Why is my love so dark? Down and I'll be right back. Are you serious? I need to attend to very important. <laughs> serious? <laughs> you know oh I'm my saying? god, life is good, man. <laughs> life is good. <laughs> I'll be right back, bro. Oh my god. <laughs>
Slap you over and over again if that's what it takes to correct your congee infected brain. What is it? If I ask you of money now, you won't give me. Wait, wait, wait. What has all this got to do with me wanting to make love to my wife? Moby, I dictate when and where I want to have sex. For now, I am not in the mood. Do you understand? With them. Yes. Exactly what I said. You meet with them, get those documents, sign the ones you we, we need to sign, and submit them. You can't do these things without me, man. I already told you I'll be meeting with Mr. Johnson this morning before coming to the office. So please meet with them and sign those documents. Thank you. Babe, I called you several last night. You weren't picking. And then when you got back, you were too tired. I, I was. Shut I was up. I'm sorry. I, I, I was thinking maybe we could. I said, shut up! Shut up, is Shut up! I'm staying here. Tell me everything, what happened? Can you imagine that useless man I have at home? He tried to have sex with me this morning. What? He was rubbing his irritating hands all over my body, trying to seduce me as if he owns my body. And trust me, I gave him a dirty slap. That's my girl. I trust you. I know what you can do. Seriously. What God? What a fun tree does that guy has? Can you imagine? He was just being so annoying, I had to leave the house. <laughs> what? 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 Do you think I'm being too harsh? Harsh? On who? That thing you call a husband. I beg, I beg, I beg in there. You're on the right path. So let me tell you, Thelma, if you do not take charge now, if you do not show him that you run the house, the guy will turn you into a slave. Okay, let me ask you. You want to take care of all his needs, feed him, 
buy all the necessary stuff for home and still be his slave. You want to be his slave? No. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So as long as you don't want to be his slave, please, you're on the right path. And I'm doing all these things. I'm telling you all these things because you're my girl. Like, I love you. Okay? If I don't, I won't be wasting my time. You're on the right path. Thank you so much, Ngozi. I won't come anything for you. You're my baby now. But where is the husband? <laughs> is that one the husband? Just say, where is the hawk? <laughs> the band is out. <laughs> they have sent you to go to the market and get a few things for me. Madame de Mada. <laughs> I trust you. I mean, come on. <laughs> To show them that we run the world now. Come on. Imagine. Your husband wants to do. I trust you, darling. I trust you, Thelma. I mean, but what effrontery? What gods does he have? If you open, he will enter. He will. Hey! With his brokers. He wouldn't go and find a job to do. Jesus. <laughs> Twin gun boys. Can you imagine? I trust you. I hope the slap was like hot. Very hot. I mean, who run the world? Girls! Who run the world? <laughs> Girls! <laughs> paintings in the market. You used to be better than this. Eh? What is wrong with you? What is going on? Huh. Well, I, I, I still believe in you. I, I believe you can do more better. You, I, I trust you can do better. Yes, I, I, I can. You, you really have to. I, 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 I want you to impress me. Huh? Okay, I, I wish you luck. I wish you, I wish you luck. Sir, so you're, you're not going to, but I have some other paintings at the back, and you're not going to buy anyone. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. to light up your night. <laughs> you look sad. But sadness only makes people get older by the day. So, what did you hear about girls that makes people happy? <laughs> Ooh.
is busy trying to make money to take care of us. Okay? Now you will go up and sleep because you will go to school tomorrow. It's a school week. Alright? I love you, Mommy. Oh, come on. I love you too, Pumpkin. Good night. Worried too. Did I ask you to be worried about me? I should be worried. You are my husband. Exactly the point. I am your husband and I can do whatever I want to do. Okay. Why are you treating me like this? The way you're treating me is not fair. If there's anything that I'm doing in this marriage that you do not like, please tell me. I will stop. Please. Let's make this marriage work. Well, you think you have a role in this marriage? I am this marriage. I run this marriage my own way, and I say the marriage is running perfectly well. Okay. This marriage is not working. It's not working, and I'm not happy. It's not working. What did you say? Not How dare you? How dare you say you're not happy? Hmm? I picked you up from that very filthy, stupid village of yours and gave you a very beautiful shelter that your entire family put together could not afford. How dare you? Waiting for a minute, I want to know what it means to laugh. Oh my god, Angela! Angela! For a minute, I want to know he did all this to you? Oh no, no! You can't keep doing this to yourself. Angela, this marriage is too toxic for you. You need to leave. I can't. I can't. Well, you have to. You have no choice. Isabel. I can't. I have nowhere else to go to. My parents are dead. No family. No job. Nothing. Gabe is all that I have. The only one I have. I can't, I can't. I... Stop. Stop, 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 stop. <sighs> I know you're here finally. I, 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 did. I can't believe you made me spend the whole day with you. I mean, I'm, I'm supposed to be home by now. My husband, my Hus husband. <laughs> what useless husband? He can take care of himself. Or are you not the one in charge again? Uh, of course, no, I am. Of course, <laughs> I'm completely in charge. No, if I think I should just send him a text because I mean I need him to start making dinner. Mm -hmm. And by the time I get home, he should be ready. <laughs> I trust uh, you, uh, Wonder you? Woman. That's me. Anyways, I'm just waiting for that useless man to come back and then we leave. Okay. Wait, mm. I saw you the day they go walk. <laughs> it's how old you are. Hey! Hey, hey. Hi. Good evening. Hi, Ngozi. How are you doing? So, hold on. This is what you've been doing all day. And I was busy thinking you're becoming useful with your life. What kind of a man are you? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You don't even have a job and you're not even bothered about it. Other men are busy buying gifts for their wives. And you, what do I get? Absolutely nothing. You should be ashamed of yourself. Anyway. 
Take my clothes to the dry cleaner. If the money is not enough, then you add it up. Mom. After all, you're my husband, right, Abby. Right. Then I soaked my underwears in the bathroom. I want you to wash them before I come back tomorrow. Take. Take the money. Take now. Take this money. Look at him. Instead of you to be grateful, you're there staring at me like a pig. Please, yeah, let's go. go. Better keep this house neat if I come home. Yeah. Traffic outside there, he was mad. Why would he be coming home at this time? I got back from work and dinner is not even ready. I'm so sorry, baby. It will never happen again, I promise. Please. Please. It will never, it, it was traffic. Please, I'm so sorry. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. You see why I love you, baby? I will quickly rush inside and make you something so sweet and delicious, okay? Hmm? And then maybe after that, you know, you can go to the other room and do some things that they do in the other room. You always have your way through, right? Mm -hmm. Now get out of here. <laughs> I'm coming, just one second. You told me that um, Angela doesn't have a job. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's an opening at uh, my friend's uh, law firm. She can apply. As in um, Angela, uh, my wife. Yes, Angela. If she applies, then... Stop. Stop. Thank you. I don't understand you, Gabe. If you empower your wife, she will grow wings. Do you understand? She is tamed the way she is right now. And that is how I like it. The way you are treating your it's wife. It's none of your business, Gossier. You know what? Um, if you would please leave. Gabriel. Gabriel. Gossier, please leave.
school is organizing an excursion next week and um, excursion to where Ghana she's not going but she was hoping that she could I said she's not going and that is final I am her mother and she's going it is very unhealthy of you to transfer whatever grudges you have with me to our daughter. You act like she doesn't exist. You don't acknowledge her as a daughter. You don't treat her as a daughter. That is very irresponsible of you. How dare you? you, you you're calling me an irresponsible father? Huh? How dare you? I will still say it again that you are irresponsible. I would let you treat me like trash. But you see, Belle, you will treat her with respect because she is your flesh and blood. You fathered her. Really? Wow. So you are calling me irresponsible. Let me ask you. What have you done for that child since her birth? What have you done for her? Have you spent any penny on that girl? Hmm? It is your responsibility. You are her father. Besides, if you had let me pick up a job, we would have shut her. up. There would be no need for this. I said, shut up. Dad, stop. stop. You very worthless thing. Um, get me my food. Get a stool. I want to eat here today. Uh, babe, uh, I've been really busy. I was not able to make anything fresh. But you know what? I can, I can um, heat something up. We have some leftovers in the fridge. Even for a minute, I want to know what it means to laugh. Even for a minute, I want to know what it means to have joy in my heart. If this is love, then is it right? You are for a divorce. Who is going to take care of me? Okay. Thank you. Angela, I'm here. Yeah, I'm here for you. We can figure things out on our own. But first, we need to serve him those divorce papers.
I can't do that. I think I am the problem. I haven't been trying. I stopped trying. Maybe if I spice up my marriage a bit, it would be better. Right? Can you listen to yourself? Listen to yourself! What did this guy ever give you to eat? Angela. My God, he's back. Well, why did he return so early? Good. Well, I'll have a word with him. No, 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 no. You're not going to do that, please. You need to hide. Oh, please. I cannot do that. I beg you in the name of God, in the name of everything that you hold here. He mustn't see you if my husband sees you and dead. Oh, God, I'm dead. I'm dead, I'm dead. What do I do, please? I beg you, I beg you in the name of God. Babe, well, welcome. How was your day at work? Two shots. Two shots. Come right on, sir. You! <laughs> Self shooter! No hard feelings, bro. No hard feelings. <laughs> no hard feelings at all, bro. What's <laughs> up? How's she do? Hot! That girl was hot, bro. The hotter is around here. You know what? Yeah? You need to have a taste of that before death comes calling. <laughs> <laughs> And that's the cookie right there! You know what? I'm having her tonight. There's no way I'm letting you have her. Okay. You know I'm that generous, bro. Okay. All right. Damn. She was hot. Okay. I know. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Sorry, sorry. So sorry. Are you expecting someone? No, not really. Let me check. Ah, I'm going to say hi. Look 
look at the way he was staring at me. Mind how old are we, okay? No, mind, okay, imagine. Can you I ask him to get me a glass of water and he's here drinking it. Why must I tell him everything? Well, that's not my problem. When I leave, then you can discipline him. Okay. Now to get him. I have something important that I want to discuss with you. Okay, go ahead. Sex. It's been a while I had it. And my husband, he's not even trying to touch me again after the last time. How do I... Account, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Demand it! Thelma, if you want to have sex with your husband, you demand it! <laughs> Listen, let me tell you. Let me tell you how I do it. Hmm? If I want to have sex with Joe now, this is how I do it. Joe, I'm going to have sex with you today. And I need you to be neat, like I need you to wash up. You get? And then when we're at it, please, I need it hard. Like, pa, 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 You get? And then when I'm done with that hardness, we go down to pa, 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 pa. I don't know where you're feeling me. <laughs> like, if I want it, I dictate how it goes. So demand it. It is your conjugal right. Demand it. I'll give it a try. What is she talking about? Try waiting. I said demand it. It is your right. Unless you don't want to fuck. <laughs> if you don't want to do it, then <laughs> country will be your, your guest. De but demand it and have fun. You have to show him you're the woman and the man of the house. So demand it and he will give it to you. So what do I offer you? Did we lose track? What exactly is it that I'm not doing right? <sighs> what can I possibly do to bring back the spark in our marriage? Prepared your favorite pounded yam wheat, a goosey bitter lip soup. Angela, what are you doing here? I thought I should surprise you, and um, also if we could, um, you know. You could do what? Are you that shallow? You, you think everyone else is as shallow-minded as you are? To, to, to have the time to, to have sex in my office? What is wrong with you? No, it was just an honest surprise. Nothing of the sort. What kind of surprise is that? Now take your stupid surprise and your stupid self out of the office before I do something that will put regret. Get out! Baby, I, I just... Get out of my office now. What insolence!
it's not how it was meant to be. If this is love, then is there no reason? <laughs> I'm afternoon, baby. Why is my love so dark? I'm fine. I'm so sorry. I didn't come to pick you up from school, okay? For a minute, I want to know. Hey, hey, I don't have any shorts for you tomorrow, so just be home and be clean. I see you don't understand what I'm saying. I want to have sex with you tomorrow. So I want you to be energized and clean. <laughs> this must be the biggest joke of the century. Thelma, you, you now dictate to me, your husband, when you won't have sex. I'm the breadwinner of this family. You are the breadwinner of this family. It doesn't make you stupid. I was there for, for years. I bought this house. The reason you still have a roof over your head, me. I got you the car you, you drive. This job you boast so much about today, I got it for you. Just because my job isn't so so good these days does, does not make me less of a man. A real man would rise up, find anything possible to ensure he provides for his family. But you, you have refused to rise to that occasion. Instead, you've decided to wallow in this former glory of painting, hoping it will feed you. You need to wake up, Moby. There are new artists everywhere. Go find yourself a job. Moreover, you need to be happy that I'm here pushing you to become a better person. Other wives would have left their husbands and run away. But here I am, with you. You know if I leave you, you're going to die of hunger. For now, I am the sunshine in your life. You are just worthless. Like I said, I want to have sex with you when I come home. So be clean and be energized. <laughs> what it means to have joy in my heart. This not how it was meant to be. If this is love, then is there no reason?
for a minute I want to know what it means to laugh Even for a minute I want to know what it means to have joy in my heart This is not how it was meant to be If this is love then is there no reason Even for a minute, I want to know what it means to laugh. Even for a minute, I want to know what it means to have joy in my heart. This is not how it was meant to be. If this is love, then is there no reason? Why is my love so dark? that he might treat you. He's cheating on you as well. Hell no. No. This is unacceptable. Did you confront him? Angela, what is wrong with you? Why are you choosing to do this to yourself? Eh? Yeah. You're not saying anything. Isabel, what do you want me to say? I don't even know where to start right now. How do I even confront him? How do I even... Divorce him! Divorce this man! He's making your life miserable! Just divorce him! Angela, you're divorcing him. Yes. Okay. 
Oh. Please wake up. We need to talk. Can't you see I'm sleeping? I said, leave me alone. I am sleeping. So? You should be sorry. Well, I'm not. Cave. <clears throat> Look, Angela. I don't have the time to start pretending that I'm sorry when I'm not. I am a man. And men sometimes crave for different women aside their wives. If you're not fine with the way men are biologically tuned, then maybe you shouldn't be in a marriage. Have you thought of that? Hmm? Maybe we should just get a divorce. Yes. We should get a divorce. And now I've lost my appetite. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to. Yeah, can, we can talk about... Your wife found out you were cheating on her. And that's all you could say to her. That woman has been nothing but good to you. And you want to divorce her. Divorce? <laughs> what has come over you? Isn't that what you said you Who said anything me? about divorcing her? <laughs> no, 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 you can't be wrong. Listen, I know my wife. She's afraid of divorce. So, I threatened her with it. And she got so scared, she thought I was going to pull through with the divorce. <laughs> I told you. Okay. You see? I told you. She's been calling me since morning. And I have strategically decided not to take her calls. Listen, Gazi, you need to know how to treat these women. The more dependent your wife is on you, the more she needs you, and the easier it will be for you to control her. Gabriel, you are wicked. And, uh, you are a very wicked man! I don't understand how you could be treating your wife the way you do. The mother of your only child. I helped that woman get to where she is today. And where is she? Gabriel, where is she? In your house. Jobless and unhappy. And you're here telling me you helped her get to where she is. Gabriel, I will say it again. You are very wicked. You are a wicked man. Where are you going? I mean, we uh, have not even discussed um, this. I can't continue with this conversation. I cannot! You piss me off! I don't know why you're being this way. Because it's, it, it's my wife we're talking about. Not your wife. Even for a minute, I want to know what it means to laugh. Even for a minute, I want to know what it means to have joy in my heart. Where are you going to? I, um, I have decided to go and look for a job. A job? 
You want to get a job, Moby. Have you made breakfast? Have you done your chores? Who is going to cook lunch or dinner? Tell me, my interview is in about an hour. I don't have time to do all those things. Yeah. Like I said, I have a job to go and do for. So you still have hands now. You help yourself with those things for today. No, I can't. You don't expect me to walk all through the night, then I'll come home to rest. You want me to start doing chores. It's not possible. See, I'll be late. I am talking nonsense, right? You still want to go. Okay. You still want to go. You're very, very stupid, Moby. Do you know that? All the men are busy looking for jobs online. You, you're wearing suits, claiming you want to go out and look for jobs. You better go and make lunch. You're not going anywhere. It's yours. Tell me, can you bring me keys now? Let me go, go where I'm going to. Tell me. He hasn't been picking his call the whole day. What's wrong with that man? I, I confronted him this morning and he threatened me with a divorce. I just want to talk to him. I just want him to pick his call so I can apologize to him. That's all. Wait, what? Apologize? For what? What's even wrong with you? You found out that your husband is cheating and you want to apologize? Angela! <laughs> Babe, I don't want a divorce. I don't have a job. There is Pearl. Who is going to take care of her? What if he decides to take her away from me? He won't. Listen, Angela, you can stay with me here till you get something doing. Let him go ahead with the plan. Isabel, I don't want a divorce. Honestly. I'm going to be a total wreck. I don't want a divorce. You know what? Let me just try him one more time. Uh, wait, I'll call wait, you back, Angela, please. Wait. I'm sorry. Your strongest. Okay, thank you. Please, something very strong.
Woman trouble? You can't say that again. <laughs> Women. Hello. Babe, I was, I was trying your number the whole day. So I am supposed to abandon my work and attend to you? Gabe, okay, please. Please. I don't want to have any fight with you, please. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Just, just come home. We can sort this out. Please. Okay. okay. I'll talk to you when I get home. Okay. Please, when are you coming back home? Angela, I just said I will talk to you when I get home. Was that your babe? No. Wife. Oh. <laughs> Wives. They can be a pain in the ass. <coughs> Amazingly, you know I used to know this Angela. Back in our school days, her father was a carpenter. He would come to drop her every single day at school. He never missed it. Um, he passed on at some point and that was it. I never saw him in school. Okay, yeah. now that is very scary. What is Because it? my wife's father was a carpenter and he's diseased. You're joking. No, I'm not. Wait, 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 wait. Was her son named by any chance Okeika? That cannot be true. How did you know that? You're messing with me. Come on, get out. That is my wife's last name. Angelo Keika. No, you don't know my wife. You can't die. You can't know my wife. What a coincidence. Hey, bro. She used to be a really sweet soul. It's just that way. You know, when her father passed, I looked for her everywhere. She was nowhere to be found. Can, can I maybe get her digits or something? Hey, man. Look. I came here to have a drink and, you know, have some fun, okay? Not to talk about my wife. Oh, no, I, I understand she's your wife, but I, I, I meant no harm. I just want to discuss and exchange things. There is nothing to discuss, all right? I'm sure you also came here to have some drink. So, why don't you have some drink and uh, enjoy your evening? Not to talk about my wife. Hey, 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 you, 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 you left your phone. Thank you. You know what? Just take the bread. Come, come. Don't worry. Take it. Come. All right. Good girl. This way, this way. Good girl. Let's go. Say goodbye to daddy. Goodbye. Let's go. Let's go. You know you didn't come back home early last night and we were... Angela, I'm not in the mood.
I forgive you. You what? <laughs> you, what? You, you forgive me? Like, I ask for your forgiveness? Huh? <laughs> you cheated on me, and I'm saying that. I know what you're trying to say, Angela, but I don't care. Like, I really don't care. You should be grateful that I have decided to remain in this marriage with you. I have fed you. I have cared for you and sheltered you. So if all I do is cheat on you once or twice, you should be happy that I am still in the marriage with you and not divorcing you and sending you out of my house. Do you understand that? You forgive me. I did not ask for your forgiveness. Black. Good morning. It's not how it's meant to be. If this is love, then um, there's no reason. No, not at the moment, but I can work on something real quick. Why is my love so dark? Dark, dark, dark. Why is my love so dark? Dark, dark, dark. Absolutely, yeah, I, I understand. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get the samples. You will not be disappointed, sir. You will not be disappointed, sir. You too. Yes, 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 yes. I feel good. Ba -da 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 -da. So good. Bam, bam. <laughs> Babe, you're back. Uh, I forgot to make breakfast. As I, I can fix you something real quick. Are you hungry? Come on, baby. I'll do this over and over again. Thank you. Oh, please. It's nothing. Listen, we're in this together, okay? We'll go through this together. Hmm? Take care of yourself. Uh -huh. Angela in. Who are you? I'm an old friend. Actually, um, we used to be friends back in school. And I've not seen her since then. Her father passed and she disappeared. Uh, what do I do now? Okay, can I um, at least get her number so I can call her? Please, no, just, just to call her and catch up on old times. Nothing more. Oh, sorry, I... 
Please, it's, it's not true. I know her from school. I'm sure if you tell her that you met Moby, she wouldn't. Thank you. There you go. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, Isabel. Isabel, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. All right, I appreciate it. What took you so long? Um, there was a bit of traffic. Traffic? Why didn't you get the groceries down the street? That's why you don't have a job. You are so incompetent. Baby, there's no need for this. I mean, the groceries are here now. That's what is more important. I see. this place? Um, it's me, Moby. Team Moby from uni. Um, I'm sorry. I don't know the person that's calling. I guess it's the wrong number. Sorry. No, 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 Angela. It's me. It's me. Moby, Moby. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I can't remember. I'm busy right now, please. I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Let me... <laughs> I'm telling you, man, that girl is the sweetest I've had in a very long time. Bro, from the first day I set my eyes on her, I knew that I was in for that girl. Mm -hmm. But, as a sharp guy, you. Mm -hmm. I beat you to it. <laughs> <laughs> I did. You beat me, I know. You beat me. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Sure. But seriously though, <laughs> uh, don't you think your your wife might find out someday? Find out? <laughs> she knows. And? And what? <sighs> you don't have any fears that she might leave you? <laughs> Look, man, Angela cannot leave me. She's indebted to me. Well, you cannot be so sure. I mean, for all we know, she might leave you someday with the way you treat her. Look, man, the way I treat my wife is none of your business. Come on, I was just trying to make a point. Calm down. I was just trying to make a point. Okay. Make your point. But please, do not bring up my wife again. It's fine. It's, it's... Okay. Thank you. Hey! <laughs> hey, beautiful. How you doing? Again. I think this blood goes well. What do you think? I think you're just confused. Why don't you just pick one already? <laughs> <laughs> this guy again. Since you gave me my number, he's been calling non stop. He shouldn't put me in trouble with my husband. Pick now. Hey? He said he's your friend from uni. I mean, what's there with having a conversation with 
an old friend from school. I can't Babe. even remember him. How would you remember when you've not even given him the chance to introduce himself to you? Huh? How does he look? Hmm. He's brown skinned, average height. He walks like he owns the world. But he looks humble. Moby. 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 Oh my god. Painter. Painter? Yes! He used to do lots of nice portraits back then in school, so we called him Painter. <laughs> ah! So, why are you telling me all this? Pick up your phone and call him, madam. <laughs> ah, Painter! <laughs> Hello, um, Angela. <laughs> Seriously, I didn't even remember that. Oh my god. It's so nice to hear from you after so many years. Same here. Angela, I looked for you. I looked for you everywhere. You just disappeared into thin air. Trust me, you broke a lot of hearts. I didn't break any hearts. I'm not a heartbreaker. Really? Well, you broke mine. That's not true. We're just friends and we're not even close. Yes. Hello? Hello? Uh, I can't really hear. I think the network is... Let me call you back. and bitter leaf soup. I will give you money for the soup, then you use your money and buy the yam. What is that? You think it's just to chat, right? When it's time for provision, you better do it.
How can you say that? I've been playing to like all my life. See, I think busy with your life. You know, sometimes, yeah, it's not as good as. <laughs> you will call me. <laughs> yeah, you will call me the that. Uh, is it that big house when I used to be the house? You see, the big house when I used to be very careful my wife. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously. Nice pencil drawing, especially for you. How you want it? He would be too scared to do something like that. I know what I am saying, Ngozi. You needed to see the way he was laughing sheepishly on the phone, like someone in love. God, that fool. After all I have done for him. Thelma, don't conclude yet. Okay. Why won't I? Who else would he be chatting with if not a woman? Minas, come. Tell my men are bastards. You need to teach that deadbeat husband of yours a lesson. You need to teach him that you are the man of the house. Now this is what you do. Hmm? I have never seen her that way. I mean, who could she be chatting with on the phone like that? Maybe her boyfriend. You were not giving her the attention she needed. So, she's getting it somewhere else. No. No, Angela cannot cheat on me. She can't do that. Ah. Well, you can cheat on her. Huh? Now tell me, how do you feel now that the table is turned? Because that idiot cannot cheat on me. Do you, do you know all I have done for her? Gabriel, I don't understand you. You are cheating on her, and you think she can't? 
it is not the same. I made that woman who she is. I have done so much for her and I don't deserve to be cheated on. <laughs> Gabriel, you deserve it a million times. If I were your wife, I would have numerous boyfriends. You see those times you leave her all alone? She will go and visit them one after the other. And I'll make sure that you see me. Yes. Gabriel. Lock my office behind you. Where are you going to? Gabriel. Gabriel. Where are you going to? He says he wants to see me, but that won't be possible. <laughs> what do you mean by it's not possible? See him now. What if Gabe finds out? Angela, you're confusing me. Is he not just a friend? Or is there something you're not telling me? Isabel, you don't understand. You being here is already trouble for me. Then imagine how much more trouble going to see a man would put me in. <laughs> oh, please. It's high time you left this sham of a marriage. That's exactly what Moby calls it. Sham of a marriage. So, you see? I'm not standing alone. I would have really loved to see him. Someone is sounding like she's in love. Love, okay. This is just my friend, no? I'm married. Yeah. Alright. Uh, uh, please, you, you have to leave now, eh? You need to leave. Angela! So this is what you do? This is what you do every time I go to work? After I have warned you never to invite your filthy friends into my house? Hey, you! Get out! Oh, please, don't even talk to me like that! I'm not your wife! Em, um, Isabel, eh? Please, you, need to, you need to leave, eh? Please. Let me... Please. Isabel, please. You! You're a very wicked man! Don't worry! I'm coming for you! I will come for you! Is she... Is she... Is she talking to me like that? Yes! In my house?! I'm talking to you! This is the insult you're breaking me! Really? Now listen, if you don't get the help, get out of my house, you fool! You are the bigger fool here! You shameless man! You treat your wife like some piece of rubbish, like a piece of trash! I'm coming for you. You be prepared for me. Give me! Mm -hmm. man. It's yours. Did, did you say the insult you? Did you just call me a fool? In, in my house? And I let her live in my house? Did she just call me a fool? So you think you can walk into my own house and insult me? Do you know I could flog the hell out of you right now? Hmm? I dare you, Gabe. I dare you. I dare you to lay a finger on me and I will sue you and every goddamn thing you represent. I will sue you and reduce you to nothing. Try it. In my house. Now get out. Get out of my house. I was already on my way. Loser. Get out, you fool! Get out! Angela! Yeah. Huh? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. It will never happen again. Please. Angela. 
Please. I don't want to ever see that woman in this house again. Is that understood? Where is your phone? Where is the phone I bought for you, woman? And the password? I'll be keeping this phone. Maybe less communications with the outside world will teach you how to become an obedient wife. Hmm? You are cheating on me. You think I will let you ridicule me by cheating on me? After all I've done for you, you want to make me a laughing stock. You've suddenly gone deaf, right? Give me my phone. Your phone? I found out that you're cheating on me and all you could say is your phone? Selma, I do not have time for this you're ranting this evening. What? Hand back my phone. I am ranting now? Ah! I will slap the living daylight out of your face. Thing to do. Mm. And uh, what could that be? If I told you, you wouldn't believe me. <laughs> okay, I can imagine. Batman, I'll get him his usual. <laughs> so, um, found any hot chick that interests you tonight? <laughs> hot chick, yes, yes, but she's not here tonight. <laughs> Well, All right, thank you. I'm interested in the one that is here tonight. Bad guy. <laughs> How's your wife? Oh, no, no, no. I didn't mean it that way. 
we have this reunion happening soon. I was wondering if she would like to attend. Thank you, but she'll pass. You haven't even asked her yet. You know what? Forget I asked. Forget it. Well, you better do. You better forget and have some fun, man. That is why we're here. All right? Yay. Let's find ourselves some pretty girls. Hey! <laughs> I know that your madam is in. Just tell her that Moby is here to look for her. Oh, God, this way, see, we can do it too risky. I know if you do, I'm Oh, God, this money is too small for, for this way, see, we can do See? Please, now, just tell her. Ben! Ma! Ma what's going on there? Uh, now, one of the guys, we. I... Angela! Yeah, that's. Um... You can get me into trouble. Yeah, no, it's not Go inside. What are you doing here? See, I was, I was trying to, to reach you. I've been trying your line. I sent you a series of text messages. You didn't reply any. Look, I, I miss you, Angela. You can't be saying that. I'm a married woman. I swear. I swear that you do not miss me too. What happened? See, I can't talk right now. Please. My husband might just walk in here at any time. Okay, um, how about we meet somewhere else? Somewhere neutral. Um, timeless. It's not too far from here. Eh? Maybe 12 p.m. tomorrow. Is that fine? Please. I, I don't know. I don't know. You just have to go. Please. This place is not okay. Please have a nice day. At Please. 12 p.m. tomorrow. I'll be, I'll be waiting. Please, just. Ben! Lock the gate! Yes, sir. So, did you do exactly what I told you to do? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. I confronted him. Mm -hmm. I even slapped him. Yes, mm -hmm. that was when he tried to slap me back. Eh? Are you serious? Okay, but did he deny it? He didn't say anything about it. I'm, I'm seriously confused. I mean, what is giving your husband wings to fly? What? Sir, that I can't say. Okay. This is what we're going to do. You need to watch him now closely. Because I think your stupid husband is up to something. So we need to like observe him closely now. Okay? And we also need to try and catch him on the act. Yes. We need to catch him doing it. If it's possible. Okay? Because if we actually get that evidence, then the rest is easy. Okay? Okay. Thank you so much, Ngozi. I don't know what I would have done without you. <laughs> Can even do that in this time and age. <sighs> Wait, I I hope he didn't see our messages. No, I don't have your number saved on my phone. Besides, I usually clear my chats. Well, <sighs> where where did you meet this man? You know, after my father died, we couldn't pay my school fees and house rent. So I had to move back to the village. Not too long, my mother died too. 
I met him during my mother's burial. He came with his aunt, who happened to be my mother's good friend. One thing led to the other, and I, I got pregnant for him. Then he had to marry me. I'm so sorry you had to go through all that. I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> is there a specific reason I am here? I, I told you. I miss you. Very much. And I wanted to see you. I asked you if you missed me too, but you didn't say anything. Hmm? Um, I... Are you married? Um... I was going to talk to you about it. I don't know what I'm doing here. Hey, hey, hey. Angela, 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 please. Please, I can explain. Don't call my phone again. said you went out today. Where did you go to? Have you suddenly got me? It fell. Um, yes. She was supposed to come back from school by 1 p.m. But the school bus didn't drop her. I don't have a phone, so I had to go to a school to check up on her. I was worried. Really? Really? I guess you thought I was going to give you back your phone with all those contacts on it. Hmm? Well, I'm not that foolish. This is a new start for you. Let me now see how you'll be chatting and smiling so sheepishly. Hmm? He's married. So? I'm confused. Don't you think it's weird? You like him? I like talking to him. You like him, yes. Yes. Good. When does he ask you guys to see? See him. Hear what he has to say. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure about that. You know, Gabe... Gabe will not find out. You're just having an innocent conversation with your long-lost friend. You're happier since you met him. And, my God, Angela, you deserve to be happy. So, when next he asks for the both of you to see, see him. I lost my... my major client last year. And I have been financially unstable since then. My home has been a living hell. 
My wife is a pain in the ass. She finds every slight opportunity to rob my situation in the face. How long have you been married? A little over four years. I'm really sorry that you had to go through this. Nah. I've um, I found a way to numb the pain. Beauty thick skin. I go out like every other night, clubs, bars. Just looking for fun, basically. Carry girls, have fun with them. I come back feeling quite happy. But I wake up the next day feeling worse. Until you came into my life. Stop it. It's the truth, Angela. It's the truth. I love you. I've always loved you from our school days. You are quite fun. Fun, quiet to be with. I know we were in clothes. We were in that clothes. So I was always looking for opportunities to come closer. Which is why I was quite pained when you suddenly stopped coming. Ruby, please, please. I'm married. I... I know. Listen, I'm not asking you for anything that would jeopardize your marriage. All right? I just want you to be here with me. Be here with me. I just want to be able to talk to you when I when I want to. I don't care, even if we just remain as friends, I'm fine. Please. I'm just glad that your husband keeps late nights. I'm not worried about my husband, but my daughter, Pearl. But you said she was asleep before you left. What if she wakes up and she doesn't find me? Oh, that's true. Um, I can drop you off if you're ready to go. No. Don't worry, she won't wake up. She's fine. I want to be here with you. <laughs> if the client likes it, I'll be taking part in his exhibition next month. And that's a lot of publicity for me. See you tomorrow then.
Congratulations, Mobi. Mm. I'm very, very impressed. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Mm. I really appreciate the compliment. Mm. You know, uh, it happens to creative minds. And um, I told you, when you hit it, you hit it big. And this is the beginning of a new time. Mm. Thank you. And I, I wouldn't have done this without you. Yeah. Your encouragement to get me going. Yeah. Uh, Take this. Okay. Let me, let me help you with that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Uh, I will send you a check later. All right. All right. I'll send you a check. <coughs> Just uh, arrange your box for my exhibition. Okay. Oh my God! Congratulations, my love. Ah. Oh. I don't know how much I prayed for this and it's working. Congrats, I'm so happy for you. Uh -huh. um, um, you know what? Uh, you guys should relax. Let me go into the kitchen and make something very special for you, okay? I'm All so right. happy for you, baby. Look at this. Uh, All right. uh, I'll see you later. Okay, sir. All right. Have a blessed day. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Sure. Congrats, baby. And you. Going to work today. I'm celebrating with you. You should be at, at work. I have an exhibition to plan. If you may excuse me. Tell me what it will cost. For you to treat me right Tell me what thing I go do At this point You're pointless You know the reason I stayed at home today Is because I needed rest I work so hard to provide for this family and if that's the only thing good I do in your sight, then so be it. I'm walking away from this pain. I'm walking away. I'm walking away from you. I'm walking away from this life. I'm walking away from this pain. I'm walking away. I'm walking away from you. Tell me what it will cost. For you to treat me right Tell me what I go do For you to love me right If I ever did you Hey I don't have any shorts for you tomorrow So, just be home and be clean I see you don't understand what I'm saying I want to have sex with you tomorrow, so I want you to be energized and clean. <laughs> this must be the biggest joke of the century. Thelma, you, you now dictate to me, your husband, when you want to have sex. I'm the breadwinner of this family. You are the breadwinner of this family. It doesn't make you stupid. I was there for, for years. I bought this house. The reason you still have a roof over your head, me. I got you the car you, you drive. This job you boast so much about today, I got it for you. Just because my job isn't so so good these days does, does not make me less of a man. A real man would rise up, find anything possible to ensure he provides for his family. But you, you have refused to rise to that occasion. Instead, you've decided to wallow in this former glory of painting, hoping it will feed you. You need to wake up, Moby. There are new artists everywhere. Go find yourself a job. Moreover, 
You need to be happy that I'm here, pushing you to become a better person. Other wives would have left their husbands and run away. But here I am, with you. You know if I leave you, you're going to die of hunger. For now, I am the sunshine in your life. You are just worthless. Like I said, I want to have sex with you when I come home. So be clean and be energized. You're very stupid. I mean, you, you, you stupid. What is wrong with you? You need to grow up, Moby. You pay this every morning, afternoon, and night. Isn't this something that is going to feed us? I want to eat. I need my food. You better go get me my food before I tear everything here into trash. Rubbish. Even for a minute, I want to know what it means to laugh. Even for a minute, I want to know what it means to have joy in my heart. I told you I'm tired, but you wouldn't listen. And I will slap you over and over again if that's what it takes to correct your congee infected brain. What is it? If I ask you of money now, you won't give me. Wait, wait, wait. What has all this got to do with me wanting to make love to my wife? Moby, I dictate when and where I want to have sex. For now, I am not in the mood. Even for a minute, do you understand? To have joy in my heart. This is not how it was meant to be. If this is I'm love, walking away from this pain. I'm walking away. I'm walking away from you. I'm walking away from this life. I'm walking away from this pain. I'm walking away. I'm walking away from you. Tell me what it would cost. For you to treat me right Tell me what I go do For you to love me right If I ever, ever did you wrong Baby I'm sorry Cause though I'm with you my baby Still I'm lonely The pains in my heart The tears from my eyes Yeah 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 I can't take it no more So I'm leaving you I'm leaving you I'm leaving you Yeah 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 Mama Because you won't take me out. Ah, uh, babe, I called you several last night. You weren't picking, and then um, when you got back, you were too tired. I, I was shut I was up. I'm sorry. I I I was thinking maybe we could. I said shut up. Shut up, is shut up! You think you have a role in this marriage? I am this marriage. I run this marriage my own way, and I say the marriage is running perfectly well. Okay. This marriage is not working. It's not working, and I'm not happy. It's not working. What did you say? How dare you? How dare you say you're not happy? Me? I picked you up from that very filthy, stupid village of yours and gave you a very beautiful shelter that your entire family put together could not afford. How dare you? Even for a minute, I want to know what it means to laugh. He did all this to you? Oh no, no. You can't keep doing this to yourself. Angela, 
This marriage is too toxic for you. You need to leave. Tell me what it would come for you to treat me right. Tell me what you I go do for you to love me right. If I ever, ever did you wrong, baby, I'm sorry. Cause no, I'm with you, my baby. Still, I'm lonely. The pains in my heart, the tears from my eyes. Yeah, I can't take it no more. So, I'm living. Movie. Um, I thought you weren't going to come. I almost didn't. I love you so much, and I would love to spend. I love you so much, and I'd love to spend the rest of my life with you in it as well. I love you too. Um, she doesn't understand. Hi, Pearl. Hi, Pearl. My name is Chimobi. Alright? And I'm, I'm mommy's friend. And you're going to be seeing my face for a very, very long time. Your face is very fine, so it's okay. Uh, <laughs> such a smart kid you have here. Uh, nice to meet you, baby girl. So I'm leaving you, I'm leaving you, I'm leaving you, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm leaving you, I'm leaving you, I'm walking away. Angela. That stupid man didn't even make breakfast for me. Yeah. <laughs> 
He's not taking my calls. <laughs> Moby. He will come back and meet me in this house. before he's not even taking my calls oh my girl calm down calm down you're in charge here okay your husband is probably somewhere chilling and you're here panicking but he always takes my call eh, okay but well, have you called any of his friends i don't know any calm down oh my god you know what let me let me call you back okay let me just uh, let me ask my husband and see if he knows something he might just know okay I have searched everywhere and I still couldn't find her. What about her friend? She doesn't know where she is. Are you sure there's no other person that knows your wife's whereabouts? What a coincidence! Hey, bro. She used to be a really sweet soul. Is she still that way? You know, when her father passed, I looked for her everywhere. She was nowhere to be found. Can, can I maybe get her digits or something? Hey, man, look. 
I came here to have a drink and, you know, have some fun, okay? Not to talk about my wife. Oh, no, I, I understand she's your wife, but I, I, I meant no harm. I just want to discuss and they change There is nothing to discuss, all right? I'm sure you also came here to have some drink. So, why don't you have some drink and uh, enjoy your evening? Not to talk about my wife. How's your wife? Oh, no, 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 I didn't mean it that way. We have this reunion happening soon. I was wondering if you would like to attend. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hello, Guzzi. I think I know who she's with. I think I know where Angela is. No, wait, 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 Hold on. Honey, love, what is going on? This is not what you told me. Your marriage is supposed to be like mine. What is going on? Tell me. No two marriages are the same. But ours, ours are meant to be the same. Being in charge, being the man, even though we are not happy in our marriages, provided we are in charge, right? How gullible can you be? <laughs> like, I don't understand. <laughs> Which one is dying scarf like a bunny? I told you, I'm still planning to go to the salon, that's why. Anyway, My it's hair is very really bad. <laughs> well, uh... No, I actually want to discuss something with you. What is it? I'm all ears. It's actually about Jerry. Jerry? What about him? He said he wants us to meet his parents. Like, he wants me to go with him to his place. Meet his parents? Yeah. I don't understand. Why? Because he wants to marry me, obviously. What? Jerry wants to marry you. Yes. And you, you want to marry Jerry? Yes. Ngozi, mm -hmm. are you out of your mind? I don't understand. Why are you asking that? You want to marry an errand boy to politicians. I don't get you, Ngozi. Are you even thinking about your future at all? Don't you want to get married to someone that will lift up all those burdens from you? I do. Then what are you saying? Ngozi, <clears throat> there are rich men out there who wants to get married to good girls like you. Thelma, trust me, I understand exactly what you're saying. But I love Jerry. And trust me, that guy is going to blow. Trust me when I tell you that he has potentials. He's going to mm -hmm. blow. He will blow. Yes. When? Soon. Soon when? Do you have a date for that? Okay, hold on. He has potentials, right? Yes. Now, can you tell me one tangible thing Jerry has ever done for you? Look at me. My boyfriend is an artist and he got this apartment for me. He takes care of <laughs> almost every of my needs. What has Jerry done for you? Hmm. He has, um, you know, mm -hmm. he will do. We will get to that. Really? Yes. Oh God, I'm going to say, I can't believe that you're saying all this. You know, I'm just showing concern because of your future. I don't want you to carry all these burdens alone. But I love him. 
I love Jerry. So what are you saying? Tell me, if I do this, if I don't go with him, this might actually affect our relationship. You might actually break us up. Well, that means it's, it's how God wants it. I need you to see reasons with me. I want you to be comfortable when you get married. But I was only being concerned. Concerned? Thelma. Look where you're concerned. Got me. Jerry is now the governor elect, which would have made me, or was it, the first lady of our state. But your wicked advice, your wicked advice took that away from me. And now look at where I am. I got married to Joe because I needed to be married. Everything you see in this house. All the properties, the cars, I bought them with my money, with my hard-earned money. But that doesn't give me the right to insult or be rude to my husband the way you are to yours. You deceived me. You deceived me, Ngozi, and now my husband is gone. Oh my God, I've been such a fool. You've been such a big fool. Don't forget big. You've been such a big fool to believe everything I've been saying. You are very wicked. You are very wicked, Ngozi, and I will never forgive you. Please just cut that crap. Did you see me begging for your forgiveness? Who is asking for your forgiveness? Me? Please, I don't need you as my friend. You are a bad influence, okay? I mean, you chased your own husband, your own husband out of the house. So why would I want to have you as my friend? So I will chase mine out. God forbid. Please, I don't need your forgiveness, okay? And I don't need a friend like you. How dare you? How dare you? You think I'm your deadbeat husband? I will so break you. I will beat you beyond repair. Why would you put that stupid hand off my face? Now, get the hell out of my house before you rub your rubbish on me. Out! Are you deaf? I said get out of my house! marriage in the bid to revenge. Oh, come on, Nanji. No matter what, you don't pay evil with evil. I am so disappointed in you. I'm so sorry, baby. I'm so sorry. You should be apologizing to her and not me. Now go after her. Help her find her husband and fix her home. But how am I going to do whichever way you want to do that? I didn't ask her to go and chase her husband away. She did that on her own. They be made up now and fix it for her. What's up? What's up? Okay. How's it going? Good. Um, have you seen that guy? You know, the dark guy, the one I usually hang out with sometimes? Uh, uh, uh that guy? Mm -hmm. I've not seen him for a while. I'm even wondering what happened. But I think uh, there's still time. It will soon be here. Hmm? So I guess you went. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, let me just have something to drink. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah. Yeah, bro. With you, my baby. Still, I'm lonely. The pains in my heart, the tears from my eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I 
can't take it no more. So I'm leaving you, I'm leaving you, I'm leaving you, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm leaving you, I'm leaving you, I'm walking away. I'm walking away from this life. I'm walking away from this pain. I'm walking away. I'm walking away from you. I'm walking away from this life. I'm walking away from this pain. I'm walking away. I'm walking away from you. Tell me what it would cost for you to treat me right. Tell me what I go do for you to love me right. If I ever, ever did you wrong, baby, I'm sorry. Cause though I'm with you, my baby, still I'm lonely. The pains of my heart, the tears from my eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't take it no more. So I'm leaving you. I'm leaving you. I'm leaving you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm leaving you. I'm leaving you. I'm walking away. I'm walking away from this life. I'm walking away from this pain. I'm walking away. I'm walking away. I'm walking away. I'm walking away from this life. I'm walking away from this pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. get the groceries down the street. That's why you don't have a job. You are so incompetent. Baby, there's no need for this. I mean, the groceries are here now. That's what's more important. I see. wife found out you were cheating on her and that's all you could say to her that woman has been nothing but good to you and you want to divorce her divorce <laughs> what has come over you isn't that what you said you who said anything her? about divorcing her <laughs> no 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 you can't be wrong listen i know my wife she's afraid of divorce so i threatened her with it and she got so scared she thought i was going to pull through with the divorce <laughs> I told you. Okay. You see? I told you. She's been calling me since morning. And I have strategically decided not to take her calls. Listen, Gizzy. Oh, yeah, yeah, go, yeah, yeah, yeah.
By the time you be reading this letter, I will be far gone. I tried to read this marriage book, but for some funny reasons, you had made up your mind to destroy it. I tried to make this marriage work, but for some funny reasons, you had made up your mind to destroy it. I wish that I can say I have a good life, but I can't, because I actually want you to suffer and experience the exact trauma and heartache you put me through, and above all, I hope you become a better person. Love, Chimobi. <laughs>